walking is a very serious reality. You have to check how you walk. Malabasha, your walk is a serious matter. <laughs> your walk is a serious matter. Your walk is a serious matter. And walking with God is a serious, it's a serious agenda. If you really, really look in the word of God very well, you realize that Adam had issues. Adam was innocent, natural. He neither knew sin, good from evil. He was innocent, natural. That's Adam. But it does not mean that Adam didn't have anything to be ashamed of. Because when God, Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, 24 and 25, when the woman came, Bible says, and they were both naked and not ashamed. Now, when the Bible says they were both naked and not ashamed, it implies there was something to be ashamed of. Yeah. But they were not ashamed. Because their gaze was not on the things that would make them ashamed. Mm. Number two, according to scriptures, according to James, the Bible says that we are tempted according to our own desires. So when the serpent suggested to the woman, have you seen this tree? Have you, as God said, Bible says that when the woman was enticed, Adam who was with her, it means Adam was not far away. Adam was standing close by and saw the transaction between the serpent and the wife. But he did not intervene. He did not stop that discourse. It was something Satan was revealing from his heart. Mm. So it was something that was in his heart. He wanted to be like God, but he had never had words to utter it. That's why he was tempted. No wonder Timothy said, Paul said to the apostle Timothy, he said the man was not deceived. It was the woman. Yeah. So Adam knew what he was doing. It was deliberate. It was not temptation. He deliberately ate the tree because he was aware that what Satan had just said was a lie. Mm. He knew that this one, that's not what God said. It was the woman who was giving the answers and Adam was with her, watching her give the wrong answers because something was being expressed in his heart. That's why when God came, and Adam said, I heard thy voice. Genesis 3, 8, in walking in the cool of the day, and I went to hide myself. Then God asked him a question, who told you? God didn't say, it's not true. It means it's true that you are naked, but I never told you you are naked. That's the mystery of God's providence and reality of grace in the garden. Adam was having wrong thoughts, but do you know what God did? God said, as long as he walks with me, the talks are correct. As long as he is having in step work with me, all his wrong thoughts, all his wrong inclinations, his proclivities and desires, once he works with me, I have the anointing God, I have the capacity, I have the ability, environmental structure to hold him from going astray, though his thoughts are not right. That's why Jesus, <laughs> he didn't spend his time correcting people. He just let them live with him. With time, they got corrected. <laughs> this is the reality of working with God. So I encourage you today, what we are sharing is a very serious matter. Wherever you are, whatever you are going through, the solution is not trying to help yourself. The solution is, Lord, I want to work with you. It's not, Lord, I want to stop. No, work with him. You walk away from that addiction without realizing it. And it will take you five, ten years. And you realize that, wow, it's been ten years and it's long gone. And the beauty about that walk is that by the time you realize it, there's no energy nor desire indeed to go back. <laughs> because you were focused on walking. Because I sat down and I looked at why many believers fall. A lot of people start well, but along the line they fall. And the Lord said to me, he says, because after a while, they take a rest. They go and sit under a tree without walking. We must walk. Walk.